Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel, I'm Bani Muncha Taro. I'm here to do your second half of August 2019 general reading. I am going to be using cartomancy and tarot, okay, and then we're going to close out with the romance angel, so here we go. First card out, we have a six of pentacles. Then we have the nine of swords. The moon card. King of swords. Nine of Pentacles, Page of Swords, Bottom of the Duck, The Chariot. All right, so you could be dealing with a Cancer. Um, you could be dealing with an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, you could be dealing with another Pisces. Let's see, and then we go into Cardamancy. So we have the Nine of Spades, the Two of Spades the five of hearts, the ten of clubs, the four of clubs, and the ten of hearts. Okay, so let's get into this. All right, so six of, six of pentacles, king of swords. So definitely somebody being generous. You could be getting a generous offer or you know you're just feeling really reciprocated lots of communication there's communication that is being reciprocated for some of you this is hitting justice legal system because we have the six of pentacles which is my mini justice card things coming into balance and then we have leap um no this is aquarius all right um so this is could also be in regards to something that helps humanity as far as generosity um and you know doing your part right and I say that because we have a nine of spades and the ten of diamonds here. Now there could be some type of front and low vibe. There's some kind of a uh, boss or something that could be very needy. Um, it's not, you know, I, I'm looking at high vibe, low vibe. All right, low vibe. This would be somebody that's very manipulative, the King of Swords, and that um, does not give, does not give equal. Equality, okay, there's no equality. I say that because we have the nine of spades and the ten of clubs. Uh, somebody could, could ha be experiencing some type of like malice at the workplace and wanting to change jobs, okay? Uh, malice at the workplace, somebody in your job or your situation or your romantic situation, there could be some type of person that is just like very needy and they're, you're needing to be more direct you're needing to, um, there needs to be a conversation, okay, uh, is what I'm seeing. Uh, with this combination right here, somebody is fearing about changing a job or a career path. There could be some type of malice here with this card and a wanting to change to a new job, wanting to change uh, a partner or wanting something to change, okay. All right, so we have the Nine of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles, all right? So somebody's having fears, worries, and anxieties, and then we have the confident and independent here. Or we have somebody that's very single, and they're worried about being single, all right? Um, or they're just worried about being financially stable, financially free, okay? So we have that paired with the Two of Spades and the Four of clubs so this could be in regards to some type of argument with the two of spades this could be in some type of argument or some type of conflict some type of betrayal all right and this could be um this is like in uh building a foundation uh you can build it like financially or just even your own foundation okay um this is also like a trip by car some type of verbal communication all right so needing to come um this could be like a phone argument or verbal communication argument. It could be some type of verbal verbal conflict. And it's like somebody's worried that they're going to be single. Alright. So we have the moon and the page of swords. So the moon, of course, everybody always can look, um, associates this with secrets, lies, deception, things happening behind the scene in the darkness. Remember, whatever comes, uh, what happens in the darkness comes to light. Uh, how I'm seeing this, though, is like you're 
intuition is going to tell you to get more information. You're needing to get more information about what's going on, all right? But your intuition is guiding you. It's telling you, hey, Pisces, or hey, cross watcher, there's something that you're needing to gather more information on. Like, you're going to have a lot of questions in your head, and you're needing to follow that instinct, follow that intuition, because this is going to lead you to get that information, all right? And what's this information bring? We have the five of hearts here, which is feminine energy, all right? Everybody has divine masculine and divine feminine energy, all right? If you don't believe me, up to five months during pregnancy, nobody can reveal the gender. Because why? Nobody knows the gender because there's no genitalia. Feminine, masculine, energy. Energy isn't defined by sex, right? So, five of heart it's like your intuition is telling you something all right there's good news coming in all right good news leads to what victory success happiness contentment all right this is almost like the sun card in tarot it's like the ten of cups in tarot all right so you're like good news is coming in it's going to be awesome sauce it could be that like after the moon cycle needing to gather information on what this moon cycle is going to bring to you what do i mean by that there's a full moon happening on the 15th i think and then there's a new moon happening on like the 26th i think all right um i'm not an astrologer and um i've been not keeping up with the moon cycles I've been going through a lot myself. But anywho, not about me, it's about you. So gather some more information. You'll be surprised like where your intuition leads you. You just jump on the internet and like, oh, I'm gonna check this out, and then boom, all of a sudden you've like you have found the recipe for the best banana nut bread. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> Bottoms of the decks. Look what decided it wanted to flip out <laughs> for of wands. So this could be in regards to a marriage, a relationship, even a proposal or getting that long-term committed relationship or that relationship that you wanted, okay? So the bottoms of the decks, we have that Cancerian energy, the chariot, and then we have the six of diamonds. All right, so the six of diamonds is somebody being shy, very timid, all right? Uh, this is a lack of communication, but then we have what? There's this chariot card, which is communication. Let me look at something really quick, okay. So this is like about communication. All right, so this is about moving forward towards victory success, towards that path, towards that our, our divine purpose, towards what we wished for. All right, because the chariot always follows the stars, stars the compass. Um, what I'm also seeing is there may be a communication about a new car or some type of trip, um, possibly even a home because that four of wands could be the home. And then we have Cancer's energy, fourth house, which is modern conveniences, is also about the home life. Um, so it really just depends on where your uh, where in your chart the Cancer energy or where fourth house fourth house or sixth house is okay why sixth house you'll google it uh, you'll be surprised all right so anyways um i say sick uh, i i say things and i don't know why i say them this is why i'm saying them it's just like i i go with the flow and i let it go all right so what comes out comes out and it keeps coming out you guys four of wands all right so this could be again about moving to a new home all right, so into your romance angels, we have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime, all right? Then we have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic connection here. Awesome sauce. So if you're having those fears, worries, and anxieties um, because there was an argument, no worries about that, you know. Um, I feel like this person is in it for to win it. It's like building your own foundation, all right? Um, knowing what you bring to the table. Um, there is going to be communication. There is going to be reciprocated communication with that. Sorry, you guys. You got face planted. 
with that king of um king of swords and that six of pentacles definitely going to be reciprocal communication now just like this nine and ten right here this could be just somebody having fears worries and anxieties in a sense um because it's like mouse out bad thoughts you know um and then we have a 10 of clubs, which is usually it's like the change of business. Uh, but how I see it in any kind of reading, it could be something changing, like you changing your address, something like that, okay? And then the last card we have is let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally. Bottom of the deck, we have past life relationship. You guys, I promise you I shuffle this deck, but like those two last cards, um, except in reverse, um, that's what Aquarius got. So you may be dealing with an Aquarius, especially with that first card being the King of Swords, okay? So this is a person that you have known in a past life or in this past lifetime. All right, so that is what I have for you. Thank you so much for checking me out. If this message resonated, you guys know what to do. And if it did not and you're interested in a personal reading with me, check downstairs below. Hit me up for a personal reading. I promise you I'm not that busy like everybody else thinks. All right, and I will see you guys in September. Namaste. Okay.